Hey everybody, and welcome to another YouTube video from our Puzzle Challenge series by ChessUniversity.com. This is Ryan Murphy, and I'm presenting the last of the easier puzzles for this week. Uh, this is for the under 1,000 crowd, and uh, the position in front of us is white to play and win. This comes from a game played on chess.com between a 2200 level player and then another player whose rating is not provided uh, in one of their online blitz tournaments. And uh, this is only the tenth move of the game we're approaching, but already interesting tactics have happened, and especially the one in the position right now. So, as I rewind to the start of this position uh, from the opening, I'll remind everybody to check the uh, link that I've put in the description where you can see the official post for this puzzle challenge. And that's where you guys should uh, comment your proposed solutions, because uh, if you do that before the solution post uh, is put up on the internet, uh, about a day from now, you guys get chances to uh, have rewards points credited credited on your account. So please do check that out uh, if you're interested. And I will go through how we got to that position from the opening. Okay. So this game began as a queen's gambit declined. Black protecting the center pawn like this. And now a g3, intending to fianchetto the light squared bishop, knight f6, bishop g2. Uh, you'll notice that white is offering black to take this pawn pretty much at any moment that they want to, but in exchange for that momentary lost pawn, white would then obtain two pawns in the center against one. And of course also the uh, long diagonal would be open for the bishop. It's a typical idea in this opening. Okay, so g6 played, uh, not the most recommended way for black to face this opening. There's many systems that are very solid for black. Bishop e7, it's a very typical move in this position. Of course, you can accept the momentary uh, sacrifice of the pawn. White can either try to get it back immediately with queen a4, or they can ignore that they're down a pawn temporarily and just play normal development knight f3 and get ready to castle. Um, there's other things too. Bishop b4 check, I think, is a move. There's many moves here for what, for black. Um, but g6 is a little bit slow and uh, leaves the dark squares also kind of vulnerable on this diagonal, for example. Yeah, and it just gets the pieces out in a slower way. So, anyway, knight f3, bishop to g7, and both sides castle. And already white's achieved a very nice position with pressure in the center. Queen c2 is okay. Uh, knight c3 would be a little bit more standard to apply more pressure to this d5 pawn. And thereafter, white might intend something like bishop g5, rook c1, uh, having intentions of removing the defender potentially, and also putting the rook on the half open c file for uh, potential attacks against c7 later. So this is a little bit more of a traditional approach, but queen c2 is okay. Uh, keeps this pawn protected, keeps the e4 square under observation, and maybe prepares the same idea anyway. Maybe white wants to go knight c3, and then rook d1, and then some e4 ideas at some point. So queen c2 is still not too unusual. Knight c6. Mm, yeah, this move's probably not the best. Generally, in the queen's pawn openings, you either want to be able to reserve the option to play c6 to block this diagonal and protect your pawn, or later on to play c5 and challenge the center from the side. So knight c6 kind of blocks both of these possibilities. Um, and yeah, white just continues by de defending their pawn again. They play this move. Rook d1. Very logical. Now knight b4 attacking the queen. Queen to b3, counterattacking and removing the queen from danger. And now black decides to defend with the move queen d6, which is a blunder. Um, a safer move here would probably just be immediately to go back to the c6 square where the knight came from. Um, though, of course, black could maybe also insert the move a5 if they wanted to be extra spicy. And then after a3, the knight would go back. And black would be slightly worse, but nothing catastrophic yet. In any event, after queen d6, it is white to play and win. So hopefully you guys will find this one and uh, check in tomorrow for another puzzle challenge video. I'll see you guys then. Thank you for watching.